In honor of Child Abuse Prevention Month, Promises to Kids is selling blue pinwheels to bring attention to the issue of child abuse. Joining me with details is Chief Operating Officer Stephanie Ortega. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. Thanks so, for having me. So you brought one of the blue pinwheels with yes. this morning. Tell me what you guys are doing with these. Yeah, so I work at Promises to Kids, a local nonprofit here in San Diego with a mission to create a brighter future for foster children. And April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and it's really important that we are out in the community bringing awareness to this cause you know children enter the foster care system as a result of abuse and neglect and it's not their fault and it's important that as a community we come together and step in and support them so we're selling pinwheels for this month and for $25 you can visit our website at promises to kids and purchase one and what we'll be doing is placing them at the county administrative center and on April 26 be doing a conference to really bring awareness to this issue now the $25 that these Cost, what is that money going to go to? So it's really going to go to all the services that we provide directly to Promises to Kids youth. So San Diego, we have about 3,000 current and former foster youth, and Promises to Kids serves every single one of them. And we have programming from the moment they enter the foster care system all the way through to adulthood, really making sure that it's wraparound services, holistic, and we're setting them up for success in their future. And, you know, you look at some of the numbers of this, and obviously you'd heard about Darren COVID, how sometimes some of the kids weren't getting the attention because they couldn't go to school. What are you guys seeing when you look at the numbers right now? Yeah, so in San Diego County, every week there's an average of 400 calls for investigations of alleged abuse, and every day in the United States there are five children that die as a result of abuse and neglect. So it's a serious matter, and you're right, during COVID when children weren't in school, there weren't necessarily people to catch what was going on in their lives and intervene. And it's it still happens it's an unfortunate reality and that's why we do have to bring awareness to it but there are a ton of services and our community here in San Diego is amazing and they always step in to help and make sure we can provide these kids anything that they need and awareness is such a big part of that which is why the pinwheels I recognize them immediately as uh, being with this issue right mm -hmm. yeah with April being child abuse prevention month it's blue so I'm so excited you're wearing blue yeah. today and if you purchase a pinwheel here's the example of the pinwheel and there's a pin also that you'll receive so that you can wear it in the community and educate others about what's going on and you can purchase these pinwheels in honor of somebody you may know um, and and really bring the importance of this cause to your inner circle well thank you so much for providing the information today and of course thank people you. can still continue to purchase those throughout the month right? yes they can throughout the month and just visit us at promises to kids.org and that's with the number two all right thanks Stephanie great seeing you thank you so much